You're cheating. Where's, where's, front, where's the front of mine? Facing me. You got the hard one this year. Yeah. Yeah. What does the winner get? Well, I've won like every year with Victor, but I've never got anything for it, so. Well, let's start making it. Can we do some? Go on then. Yeah. You want hard? Go on. No, shut up. No way. You're a liar. No. I've got chocolate for ages. The fact that I picked up the camera this morning and vlogged us opening up our advent calendars and then just refuse to vlog for the rest of the day is actually criminal. Like, I just, I completely forgot I was meant to be vlogging, but hello everyone, happy Friday. Welcome back to another vlog. For me, it is officially the 1st of December. I feel like my vlogs are going to be slightly outdated, purely just to make my life easier because I'm going to try and do double uploads in December. But I hope you guys are having a lovely December so far. Honestly, my day hasn't been too interesting anyway. I've just been working. I filmed some hair TikToks because I'm planning, well, not planning, I am doing 12 days of like Christmassy hairstyles. I mean, it's just gonna be 12 hairstyles that I'm posting during December, maybe with some bows and stuff. So I filmed four of those today and edited them. So I've been super busy and it is already dark outside. And as you guys can probably see, I have got up the Christmas tree. So I'm gonna show you guys all the decorating that I did yesterday. There honestly isn't a lot. So firstly, and most importantly, put up this Christmas tree that I always have in my room. I'm not gonna lie, I was really debating this year whether I should put it up or not, but I decided to do it anyway. But the theme is just like a champagne -y gold color. I did wanna change it this year and do like disco ball theme just to have a little bit more fun, but I just couldn't find all the bits that I wanted. So I just stuck with what I had already and we've just got a couple of cute little decorations, little mason jar with some trees in. This, oh yeah, it is an angel. I was gonna say I think it's an angel, but I thought it was a ballerina, but yeah, it is an angel from my grandma. Obviously, Aiden could get his name on one and my one is handwritten with Talia. And then I think the last bauble that is different is just this amazing one with a white feather. A subscriber actually made these for me. She made me quite a few, but I think because the tree is so small, I haven't put everything on. Like I do have Maisie ball balls with her photos in, but yeah, I decided not to put them on this year. One thing I'm missing though is my tree skirt. Also, don't ask me why Aiden decided to put all his clothes next to the Christmas tree, but I've lost my tree skirt and my normal Christmas lights. So these ones are a little bit cool tone. They're just spares that my mum had. So I don't know where all of mine have gone. Obviously have my festive candle this is from next oh god i probably shouldn't tip it because it has been lit today but luckily it is all done it is the festive spice candle and then i have this i think this is from b and i got it a couple of years ago but we're gonna like not look at the back of it because it is completely squished from it being stored but we only need to see one side of it anyway and then the last thing i have i should probably actually turn this on is my little advent calendar that my mum fills with all chocolates and that is everything. I haven't got anything else Christmassy going on. I was debating whether I invest in some like cute Christmas bunting. I did find a really nice one online. I think it's from a company called Ginger Ray. And I thought maybe I could put it along the photo, well, the photos, the paintings, the artwork, or maybe something on my mirror. But I just feel like this whole side of my room, like, there's nothing. So, I don't know. But after finishing work for the day, I have just been reading my book because I've been so bad recently at just spending so much time on TikTok. Like, I really need to get a grip and get off of TikTok. Look how cute the tree is in the corner. I love it. Um, so, yeah, I've just been reading my book, Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. But my favourite thing to do right now is to go on YouTube and get up, like, Christmas music. Like, not actually Christmas songs, but, like, Christmas vibes and it has like a nice little video of Christmassy things so I like to put that on and read my book because I can't have like talking going on or even the TV like I can't sit downstairs in the living room and read at the same time that the TV is on but it's like really annoying so my LED lights behind my TV I always have them on purple like a really nice purple shade and like, they're just missing. Like, it's literally not an option anymore. So I've had to go with red. I mean, I normally do do red at Christmas time anyway, but let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. It's honestly so strange. Oh, and we're, um, we're getting an ad. This this ruins the Christmassy mood. So I should probably get like YouTube premium or something, but I'm not gonna pay for it. Okay, I'll be ready. So we're starting off at red. 
it stays double blue. Like, okay, let's go for it again. So change, 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 change. Stays the same, that's meant to be purple. <laughs> and I just don't get it. So I'm gonna leave it at red because I don't like it being too bright, but yeah, I'm, um, I'm not too sure what has happened. I think I've had those lights now for like three, nearly four years. So I don't know if LEDs have like a time when they need to be replaced, but of course the only color that I want is the one that doesn't work. Like it's so frustrating. That's what I've got to update you guys on. I'm still sick. I said in my last vlog that I was determined that one to be my last sick vlog, but I mean, I'm feeling like better. Like I don't feel ill. It's just my sinuses are still like inflamed and blocked and a bit painful. Um, but yeah, this Otrevine spray is my best friend, but I have to stop using it on Monday because it would have been a week. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna be so sad when I have to stop. Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. Today is prize giving and I'm so excited for it. It's the first prize giving that I'm actually not dancing in and I'm a teacher for, so it honestly feels a little bit strange, but I'm so excited for it. I think I'm more excited for it this year than I am any other year. I just can't wait to see all the kids have the best time on stage. But I'm going to start this off by asking you guys for help. If you are an eczema sufferer, then please stick around. If you're not, feel free to skip ahead. But I've been suffering for the whole of this year. It's been like a year now, basically. At like Christmas time last year, I started to get eczema like on my eye and I haven't had eczema for years. Like I struggled really badly when I was younger, like had it all on my eyes, behind my knees, creases of my elbows. And when I was like 18ish, I got it all over my back and it was just horrendous. But managed to get it all under control. I haven't suffered for a while. And then last year it just started popping up again and like on my eyes and it has come onto my neck now. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this, but over here is like really sore and itchy and red and horrible. And normally it calms down after a few days, but it's literally just not going. And I can only put it down to the weather and to being ill, maybe. Like maybe because I'm ill, it's just like flaring up. I've also got it in the crease of my elbow, but you can't really see it. But it's literally only on that one, not on my other one. I'm currently using double base because this is what the doctor used to prescribe for me. It's just like... A moisturizer basically like i don't really think it's meant to stop the eczema if that makes any sense it's just meant to help it so i've been putting that like all on my neck and it makes my hair really creasy because it's like really thick moisturizer but apart from that i'm not really using anything else i did also buy this double base flare relief um but it's like not doing anything it doesn't change it at all so i've kind of given up on that so yeah if anyone has any miracles that works for them please let me know um I'm just at a bit of a loss right now and I'm kind of sick and tired of having it on my neck like it's really starting to get me down like the look of it and like obviously being itchy all the time and I itch it and I'm like I shouldn't be doing this but I can't help it so yeah if anyone has any uh suggestions for eczema then please let me know Karen Betchy definitely just died so let's just move past that but I've got a Christmas present that I want to show you guys it is for me from Aiden but he said I could open it and he's gonna take them and wrap them up. But I'm not gonna do what I got for Christmas this year. I think, I can't actually remember if I did one last year. I think I might have done a hybrid last year, like what I gave for Christmas and what I got for Christmas. But I'm definitely not gonna do what I got for Christmas this year. Like I'm not interested in watching them anymore, so I'm not gonna film one. But a present came for me today and Aiden, as I said, gave me permission to open it. He gave me permission to try them on. And I really wanna show you guys because I literally feel like the luckiest girl right now. Like the last like week, I've just felt like so happy recently and this is just like topped it off. It may seem a little bit materialistic but you guys will get it once I show you. So if you're in the dance world then you will know Laduka heels are just like they're the best. They are the thing like everyone wants them and I bought myself a pair of Ladukas last year like a pair of nude heels and they are incredible like they give me blisters and I don't know why it really annoys me but they are something else and I've been saying since I got them I was basically deciding between getting the heels or getting the boots and um, I decided to get the heels because the boots are really expensive and like I've spoken about them ever since and I told Aiden not to get them for me but Aiden is Aiden and he was like well I'm gonna get them for you and I think no matter how much I said to him not to get them he was always gonna get them so this year for Christmas I actually can't believe that I'm holding them. Like, I actually 
like look how stunning i mean they're they're an ugly boot if you're not in the dance world but if you're in the dance world they are just stunning like i actually can't believe that they are mine like i just feel so grateful they're honestly stunning like i actually i don't know they're like the most beautiful thing i've ever seen in my life so obviously a massive thank you to aiden i'm so thankful for aiden like he does so much in life that makes me happy and i'm not gonna get cringy about him because i'm like the least cringiest person ever but seriously like this has been a dream to have a pair of these laduka boots for years and the fact that he got them for me and every time i wear them i'll think of him another thing i want to talk to you guys about is i finished reading hopeless by colleen hoover this morning <sighs> i think i say this all the time after reading the colleen hoover book i'm like it's my favorite book ever this I can't compare it to any other book. Like, I absolutely loved the Knockabout series by Lucy Score. And I would say that those are my favourite books, but more like imaginative books, if that makes any sense. But this book broke my heart, put it back together, broke my heart again, put it back together again. And it actually, like, healed me in so many ways that, like, I didn't realise that I needed healing. Like, oh my god, I just cannot with how it made me cry. The last book I read was Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover and it was a book that got me out of my book slump and absolutely loved it. And it made me shed a little tear, like one like singular tear. But this one, I was crying, like it was incredible. So yeah, I can't wait to read Losing Hope. But I'm like, do I read it now or do I go to a Christmassy book? Because I really wanted to read some Christmassy books, but I'm kind of like, Talia, you're gonna finish Losing Hope in like two days, so you've got plenty of time. So I think I'm gonna do that. But anyway, I need to actually go upstairs because my mum's dug out some heels for me for my Christmas party, not next week, the week after. Um, so I need to go try those on, in my pajamas. Because what else are you going to do? I currently got on uh, my heels with my dressing gown and pyjamas. These are from Zara. I just said to my mum, like, I don't think I ever have to buy a pair of heels because she has so many. Um, but yeah, I'm going to wear these for the Christmas party because I can actually walk in them. Otherwise, yeah, everything want, else is too tall. Want my no, her Louboutins are way too tall. They literally hurt my ankle. I need some outfit help. I don't know what boots to go for because like, you can't even properly see them all. So I've either got long knee-high boots on or shorter like, is cargo boots a thing? I don't know if it's even a thing. Biker boots, biker boots, are they biker boots? Who the hell knows? But I really just can't tell which ones I prefer. My mum said she prefers the high knee, which I knew that she'd say. I think I'll go for the longer boot and they're also more comfortable and I'm gonna be doing a lot of walking. Like I wanted to look nice today because everyone always just sees me in like leggings and stuff and I never get to dress up. So when I get the chance to slightly dress up, you best bet I take it. But I'm also gonna pack this bag. And I'm gonna keep this on me at all times just so I can keep tissues in it. I can keep lip balm in it and then I can just be walking around, maybe keep some spare like hairpins and stuff in it just in case any of the girls need anything. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be the vibe for the evening. <laughs> Happy Sunday, guys. I am currently just getting ready to go out. Me and Aiden are going out to Ashford this morning and I'm super excited because I actually had a really fun time if you guys watched one of my recent vlogs at Ashford with Amber. So Aiden and I are gonna go and finish off all of our Christmas shopping. But we had a prize given last night and it honestly went really, really well. I was so proud of everyone. Got one more week at dance next week and then we finished for Christmas, which is crazy. I can't believe how quick it's gone since September. But yeah, OOTD is currently just, you know, a pretty casual outfit. I'm gonna try and wear these boots today because I need to see if I can walk in them for a long time because next week we're going to Edinburgh, like literally a week today. Um, so yeah, I wanna see if I can... Sorry. <laughs> I wanna see if I can walk in these boots for a long time without them being painful because if I can, then these will be coming to Edinburgh with us. We've just made it to Ashford and uh, there is a lot of traffic. We were kind of hoping that it would have put people off it being so rainy. Um, no. And this is probably like the worst weekend to be coming because it's the first weekend since payday, I think. And Christmas. And it's obviously like before Christmas, so everyone's gonna get all their Christmas presents. So we're just like trying to find a car parking space. Um, hopefully people start leaving. Fingers crossed. Update, we managed to find a space, but can you hear? 
the rain. And Ashford is all outside, like it's undercover. But like we gotta get, like the very back of it is outside. Although I don't know if we need anything from like the very back. Hopefully we don't. Um, but yeah, the weather. I think we just go. Let's pack everything away and just make a runner. That's my plan. Currently just in the super dry, turning up to the tunnel. Tried on a coat. I believe it's a size 10, which might be a bit thick. Oh, actually. It's very long, like literally down to my ankles. Just finished our shopping trip, absolutely soaking again. It's going to be hard. Are you taking off your coat? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What do you want me to do? Pull the sleeve. The sleeve? I'll just pull it over my hand. <laughs> pull your hand. Wait, I'm done with that. That was just the worst way to take off a coat ever. I ever had just like over the shoulder. It's too big to do that. Um, but we just got some hot dogs. I've been dreaming about these hot dogs. When do you think we got it like? Over like two years ago. <gasps> bacon in the car they are honestly the best they're from like a little truck called top dog i got the classic mm. cheese and bacon but anyway we're now going to go to like dunelm the range the range no home bargains to finish off our christmas shopping hope we get everything done today that'll be a result so on our way home we're going to head back towards my house to go to m s and dunelm and all that but we're just driving past and there's a B and M here, like a little retail park. Dunelm, Smiths for kids stuff. What else? DK Max. So maybe we just gonna pop in here. I think we'll be able to. Do we? We'll be able to get everything that we want. Yeah. Maybe. surrounded by a lot of things that it's going to be hard because I feel like there's presents here for people and um, I'm, I'm probably showing them right now but as you can probably tell I'm about to start wrapping some presents I'm like, oh, I've got to actually go back upstairs and go and get all of Aiden's presents because I've been hiding them in my mum's wardrobe because he will obviously see them if they are downstairs but we have so much Christmas wrapping paper this is meant to be Aiden's golf club that he actually took the other day and it's in his golf bag, but he still wants me to wrap it up for him because I got that for him for Christmas. So save that box. This is boxes, bags, tags, ribbons. We've got more ribbons behind us. And like, you can only imagine how many Christmas decoration boxes we have if this is just the wrapping stuff. But Aiden very kindly asked me last night if I would wrap all of the presents that he bought yesterday. And I said yes, because luckily for him, I love wrapping presents. Although I don't think I'm gonna decorate all of his presents because his family don't really decorate presents. Whereas my mum, it's like a work of art for her. It's like her art piece is her presents. I've just looked at my mum's room and I fear I might have got a little bit OTT on Aiden for Christmas. So obviously I bought him the golf club. He's then also got a hat. I got him a chile from Hollister. And then I got him two new t-shirts, a jumper and a toothbrush. Do you know what? That's not that's not too bad. That's that's it, that's okay. I have no idea how much I spent on him because I just go crazy. Oh, and I also bought him these lint chocolate golf balls which i thought were hilarious that i got with amber and i've got us both is it sad that i bought myself a selection box probably but i bought myself one because no one else is going to do it and then i think that's everything i've got for aiden but i just want to buy him more like i just love i much prefer shopping for aiden than i do for myself like i don't know what it is but it's just more fun buying for other people i think that's i think that's growing up for you buying for other people is more exciting than buying for yourself <laughs>
prepping is finally all done and it is dark outside as you can see but i just thought i'd show you guys a little bit of what i did so i've got some more over there and some underneath the tree already but these are all of aiden's presents i absolutely love these green bows so I've got two of those a bit of gold a box this is for my mum i do have some more presents for my mum not just this tiny little box but now i need to tidy up this massive mess that i have made and then i'm gonna hoover because i think we're probably gonna have a lot of glitter on the floor right now i just had to show you guys this i don't know why there are photos of me and my brother from school in the decorations box well wrapping box whatever um look at oh it's not focusing look at that look at that brandon looks pretty cute i look like i put my finger in like a plug socket why is my hair so crazy and there's some of brandon from secondary school so i'm just gonna pop these back in because clearly this is their home i feel like it's been one of those days where i've literally spent the whole day on tiktok which is one of my worst days like my least favorite days like i do it to myself so for the rest of the evening, I'm not going back on my phone. The only reason I'm allowed to go on my phone is if I need to text Aiden. If not, I'm going to be reading a book. I started reading Losing Hope. I don't know if I told you guys that yesterday or whatever. I, I've started reading it. So I hope that I'm going to enjoy it as much as I enjoyed reading Hopeless. But I think I'm going to jump in the shower, have a shower. What even is the time? It's 8 o'clock. You guys know I'm a granny. I am a granny, so I'm going to go jump in the shower, brush my teeth, and then I think I want to do some heatless curls tonight, because it's been a while since I've done them, and I want to film some more hair TikToks and reels tomorrow, and I can't be doing it whilst I look like this. Fresh out the shower, I've just done my skincare, and I've tried for the first time the Bondi Sands face tan, I've never used this before, I always use the Isle of Paradise one in, I think it's in medium. Yeah, in medium. Absolutely love this one. But I thought I'd give the Bondi Sands one a go, seeing as they very high sent it to me. So I use the biggest size curler from Eternal Muse. And yes, I have been on YouTube before. And yes, I did say that I didn't like it and I hated it and it didn't work. But I was just using it really incorrectly. So I actually love it now. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's absolutely not comfortable to sleep in. And I don't understand the people who like come on and they're like oh my god it's so comfortable like i'm sure they're just trying to sell you guys products that aren't actually comfortable to sleep in because i don't understand how it could be comfortable any heatless curler i don't understand how it could be comfortable to sleep in however it's definitely a feeling that you have to get used to like the first night i slept in with this curler i was like oh my god it's horrendous but the more i've done it the more i've gotten used to it but my hair is currently bone dry and it will not hold a curl if it is completely dry so i just kind of spray it a little bit i've tried in the past to do it like this where people like wrap it around like the crown of their head but honestly it just does not work for me so i just have to do it the traditional headband way so literally pop it on my head and i keep it quite far forward because then at least i can sleep on my back and then the way that I do it is the smaller sections you get the better. I just make sure that the curler is laying flat against my head and the pieces of hair that I'm wrapping are laying flat against the curler. And then I do it in both directions because otherwise the curler just falls out during the night. So I just grab a bit from the back and then wrap it towards the front and back around it's definitely fiddly like it's not an easy thing to do in my opinion i mean people say it's easy maybe i'm just not that great at hair sometimes i put it in and then i have to take it all out because something's gone wrong and then i basically just follow this pattern the whole way down that is one side done not gonna lie my neck is hurting because i've been looking into a mirror over here but i'm just gonna repeat this on the other side and then my heatless curls will all be in, all done. Hair is all in, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Could have gone a lot better. It literally took me like 10 attempts to get this side in. And I'm just gonna have to go with it because I was gonna take up this side and redo it. But after that took me like too many tries, I've just decided to leave it. I just spritz some water over the top and a little bit of hairspray. And hopefully when I wake up, it will look nice. I mean, I'm hoping it's gonna look nice because if it doesn't and I need to film hair videos and my hair looks weird, it's not gonna go well for me but i think i'm gonna end this vlog here because i want to start editing it it's like nine o'clock so i'm not gonna go to bed for a couple of hours so i may as well edit it as i chill for the evening read my book but i hope you all did enjoy this vlog i feel like i literally cannot remember what happened in this vlog 
like generally what happened on Friday I've got no idea so that's kind of why I want to start editing it so I can actually remember what I did on Friday but I hope you all did enjoy this video I'm gonna try and upload twice a week during December again I don't know if I've already said that in this vlog but if I haven't I'm gonna try so make sure you guys subscribe and I was gonna say turn on the notification bell but I feel like no one ever says that anymore so just ignore I ever said that leave a like leave a comment and I shall see you all very soon with a new video bye